Is that your plan? No. Look at your ankles. It's okay. This ankle is totally swollen. I know. Have a clue. You are not going to be the great break dancer you think you are. It's not going to work. And you're good, but you're going to destroy your body before you get up to those little Asians level. Little Asians? Seems redundant. That B-boy is Alex, and he wants to be a professional break dancer. So his mother did what every responsible parent should do, kill their son's stupid dreams. <laughs> I've heard break dancing is one of the most important forms of expression for African Americans, next to decorating public property with spray paint and making mouth noises into your fist. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Break dancing is gymnastics for people who can't afford proper training. I've never learned how to do it, because I refuse to lay my body on the disgusting floor. You know how much this shirt cost? It's $900, yeah. High <laughs> fashion. I don't know what popping and locking is, but I know to lock my car door whenever people are doing it. I'm from Florida, so you know I can tootsie roll. Uh, maybe I can't. But I've never crip walked because I grew up in a good school district. The point is, minorities are just better at break dancing, and it's because statistically there are fewer parents around to squash their passion for spinning on their heads all night. <laughs> Whites are not the best at this one particular activity, but we do control the world economy, so I'm okay with letting another race have crumping. <laughs> Although Michael J. Fox did leave television to pursue crumping full time. <laughs> If you don't laugh, we can't heal. <laughs> but Alex still thinks he can dance, so I invite him to join my crew in L.A., a place crawling with little Asians in this week's Web Redemption. You're telling me that's enough peanuts? Daniel, your twink boyfriend is here. Thank you, mother. Come on in. Have a seat. Maybe I can get you something, like a watch. <laughs> Quit it, Daniel. You can tell as many jokes as you want. You'll never be as funny as those little Jews. Oh, I will. And then I will shove it in your face. How long have you been dancing? I would say like four years. Do you ever play any real sports? Yeah, you know, I tried team sports as a kid. You know, I, I tried football. My dad, like, you know, pushed me into playing basketball. And Very few dads push their kids into b-boying, I've found. My parents were in no way involved in that. Your mom wasn't very supportive. You know, a lot of people have, you know, hit me up on YouTube and said things like that she's a racist, B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> the thing they don't understand is in the video, she's actually worried about my health because I keep hurting myself. Well, I understand that. But then she threw an entire race of people under the bus. <laughs> she thought I was too tall. Because if you're really tall, you can be boy, but it's hard. Welcome to my hell. I think when my parents saw that it wasn't a, a fad, it wasn't like a quick, like, you know, thing to get girls, you know. But it, but, but it isn't, it's, it hasn't evolved past it. It's still just to get girls, am I right? No. What? Like, I mean, my entire existence is for women. Like, I, I got into comedy for girls. Hey, they say the quickest way to a, a girl's hoo-ha is to her funny bone. Hey, that's not true, it's money. <laughs> Are you still dancing? Oh yeah, definitely. What does that mean? Formerly the Boogie Crew. Oh, you're in a crew? Definitely. Uh, did you get sexed in or beat in? <laughs> They don't do that in dance crews? <laughs> no, man. What race is the best dancers? Korea and Japan, like, they, they do really good. It's a sheer numbers game, though. Yeah, I guess you could say There's that. There's so many of those little bastards. <laughs> when you're at a nightclub, how quick before you try to, like, take over? You kind of post up against the wall, you kind of, like, give everybody the eye and, like, watch other people. And then when you see someone else try to throw their moves out, and you're like, oh, man, I can smack him, you know? That's when you jump up and you prove you're better. I, did, I just post up on the wall the whole time and just be the creepy guy. That's my move. Do you ever, when you're making love, like spin around all over on them? <laughs> Have you ever tried to quit dancing? Never. Your body won't let you. If you're a real b-boy, you can't just quit. Do you consider yourself a great dancer? Honestly, no, I don't. Would you date J-Lo? Yes, definitely. I wouldn't. Why? Well, for a few reasons. First of all, she's disgusting. Ow! I'm not in the centaur body. Oh. Can you tell me three nice things about Asians that aren't racist? I love Asian food. Asian food. I'm not gonna lie, man. I think anime is tight. You know. I mean, I even watched Naruto for a while. Anime. You is watched tight. Naruto. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. I mean, I used to like geek over that. You got one more. Martial arts, definitely. Do you think it's cool that they pee pee in our coke? <laughs> no. All right, I've taken the liberty of flying your mother out here so she can watch you perform in front of a crowd and see once and for all that you are better than those little Asians. You know what, I'll give, I'll give it my best shot. All right, Alex, your mom and a group of 25 paid extras want to see you dance again. You ready to give another shot? Yeah, I am. And mom, 
Are you ready to not say anything racist for the next two minutes? Sure. All right, good luck. Nice. Thanks, man. Oh, what the hell are those little Asians doing here? Dance battle! <laughs> Turns out your mom was spot on. <laughs> like, dance like no one's watching because everyone's watching that Asian crew. Nice. The crowd loved you. There's no way you lost this. Don't feel bad. You'll never be as good as those gang members. <laughs>